Hi again, ninth grade students. Um, I thought I would do another screencast to help you in the next phase of your research, which is to take Noodle tools and use the app to turn your note cards into an outline and then that outline into a first draft. And it's very easy to do that. Um, Noodle tools is a, is a powerful application that allows you to do that quite seamlessly. And so I want to demonstrate that. This is my desktop with my few note cards. I have enough here for demonstration purposes. Obviously, you'll have many more. Hopefully, along the way in your note taking, you have marked your cards with some kind of title or some kind of consistent um, tagging system so that you have the three main ideas of the paper, main subjects of the paper, um, identified in, in, in your cards so that you can cluster your cards and group them in a way that will make them easy to shuffle and reorganize as needed. Um, so I've, um, I've identified my subject cards with the word subject. And so when I want to create a pile, if you will, a, a virtual pile, um, I can drag these onto each other the same way I might pile up physical note cards, and it will ask for a title for uh, the pile. And so I'm going to call this subject, again, the three areas or the three sections of the paper are going to be the subject, the technique, and theme. So um, just have two right now, two cards for the subject. I'm going to do the same thing with technique. Just going to drag them here. I'm not worried yet about any particular order. You can worry about that later. So I just drag and drop these, and you can see the number count goes up as the cards get incorporated into that pile. Now over here is the the field in which you create an outline, and um, often this appears with a, a, a blank topic already listed there. Um, this also is a drag and drop function. So I'm going to talk about my subject first. What I need to do is I need to drag my cards over and highlight it. And once it's on that, I can let go and it will populate the topic with the cards. When I want to add a second topic, I can pull that over as well and it will populate that. And then along the way, I want to name this so that it's clear in my mind what I'm looking at here. So this is technique. Um, so I've got these cards organized uh, kind of randomly. I, I, I guess it sorts them according to how they're, the order in which they're piled up. But if I want to change that order here, so um, I would probably want to talk about the subject Mary before I talked about anything going on in the background because she's much more important. Um, so I can just change the order again by dragging and dropping and moving the order around that way. Here, for example, I've got my two medium cards uh, separated, but if I want to talk about oil paint in, in, in the same couple sentences, I'll probably want to move those together. So I can do that very easily here. So um, I would continue this process until I have a uh, subject, technique, and theme, um, and had all of my cards um, organized. And I really do mean all of my cards. I you might not use all of the information on those cards, but you really should integrate them, uh, at, at least in, at, in the beginning, um, into your outline. When you want to generate that outline, you go to print, and you're going to choose outline with note cards. If you do outline only, it will just give you one and two with the titles. Um, so with the note cards, this next menu will uh, pop up. It will give you an option for where you want to create it. Um, so I am going to choose to export this to a Google Doc. Um, originally, uh, the default is that all of these boxes are checked. And I find that this creates an outline that is very, very busy with a lot of text that I don't, I don't really need. Um, so 
for my purposes, and I suggest for yours as well, just just get the um, the truly significant stuff that's going to be important to uh, your keeping track of the source. So you're going to want the source. You don't necessarily need the URL. You should keep page numbers. You're not going to need tags or cues because you've organized these already. Um, you want all three categories included. Okay, so there's no way to distinguish um, and just, you know, pull out each of these separately. So you have to select all of them. Um, don't worry about history of creator and click submit. You see that Noodle Tools, which is a really powerful app, will generate uh, an outline. Now, there are some problems with this. Um, you know, formatting is going to be a little challenging um, to, to, to really restore the right margins. You're going to have to do some deleting to, to get rid of, you know, lines of text like this. Um, but the beauty here is that you don't have to rewrite everything that you have written on your cards. It's already there. In the case of direct quotations, they're there with... Uh, with quotation marks to make sure that you you know to uh, to include those quotations because you're attributing that to directly to the author. Um, you've got your paraphrase here in direct quote, and further on down here, you've got your own ideas integrated as well. I might be tempted because I don't particularly like this very busy visual field. At this point, I might be tempted to print this and use it as a guide for my paper. In other words, I probably would choose at this point to create a new document and work back and forth between this outline and uh, a fresh document that, that, that doesn't have any of the formatting issues that this is going to have in terms of, of where the uh, uh, you know where the indents are where the where the margins are but instead uh, is just a clean document from the beginning then I can have it open I can copy and paste if I have it printed I can also just use it as a checklist to make sure that I've I've got everything included um, but in any case, this is a really useful tool to help you move, as I say, from note card to draft. Um, and I hope this was instructive. Thank you.